So today we do the distance formula. So the distance formula is we're finding the distance between two points. So we want to know on a segment, we want to know how far A is all the way over to B, right? How much is that? We don't know. So we have two points here. We have an X and a Y, and here we have another X and a Y. And we want to know how far apart these two guys are away from each other. So we're going to use this formula here. It says distance is approximately, not an equal sign, but almost an equal sign approximately, the square root of x minus x squared plus y minus y squared. Well, let's break that up. Let's break it up into small pieces that will make it easier to do. So example one says, find the distance between each pair of points, round your answer to the nearest tenth. Okay, so we gotta remember that, the nearest tenth if necessary, right? Only if necessary. So again, our X's are, are in green and our Y's are in purple. So let's do it. First, it says X minus X. So green minus green. So we say eight minus negative two. Well, a minus and a minus become plus. So eight minus two, let's use a darker, is 10. 10 squared, a squared means just multiply that number two times by itself. So 10 squared means 10 times 10, which is 100. Okay, so we got the x minus x squared part down. Now let's do the y minus y squared part, uh, squared part now, down. So it says y minus y, purple minus purple, two minus two minus six. Well, a two minus six is a negative four. Negative four squared, negative four times negative four is positive 16. These two numbers here will always be positive because whether we get a positive or a negative, whenever we square, Positive times positive is positive. Negative times negative is also positive. So these two will always be positive. So I take those two guys and I'm going to add them. Look, it says they're plus. So I'm going to add these two guys. So I say 100 plus 16. And we get 116. Now, finally, we're going to do with this whole thing, which is square root. So we're going to square root. 116. So for that, we take the calculator, because I don't know it by heart, and we say square root of 116, and that gives us 10.77. 10.77. Well, here it says round to the nearest tenth. Well, the tenth is that guy, so that means that the neighbor is going to tell the seven what to do. So this one is bigger than five, so it's gonna tell the seven to go up to an eight. So we're gonna get 10.8, and that's our answer right there. So the distance between A and B here of these two points, this is A and this is B, is 10.8. Okay, so let's do a couple of examples of finding the distance in delta math. Find the distance between the two points in simplest radical form. Well, let's start with finding our x's and our y's. So this is our x and this is our y. And this is our x and our x. Y and y, excuse me for misspeaking there. All right, so use your notes, use the attachment that is in Delta Math, I mean that it's in Schoology with the picture of your notes. So let's say, so the first one is X 
x minus x squared. Well, our two x's are our two greens. Negative 2 minus negative 8 squared. Negative negative make a plus. Negative 2 and 8 are different signs, so I subtract them. 8 minus 2 is 6. Positive 6 because 8 is bigger. We can't forget squared. 6 squared is 6 times 6 is 36. So we have our x's. Now let's do our y's. y minus y squared. So our y's are in purple, 1 and 9. 1 minus, right, it says minus, 9 squared. Well, 1 minus 9 is, there are different signs, 9 minus 1 is 8, and 9 is a bigger integer and it's a negative, so negative 8 squared. Negative 8 times negative 8 is positive 64. Remember, these two numbers will always be positive because when you square a negative or a positive, you get a positive. Negative times negative is positive. Positive times positive is positive. Then we add these two numbers, right? So we say 36 plus 64 is equal to 100. Then finally, the last step, d distance is approximately the square root of 100. That means that the square root of 100 distance is approximately 10. Square root of 100 or what number, what two numbers multiplied by themselves is 100? The answer is 10. So d is approximately 10. 10 is the distance between this point A and this point B. <clears throat> okay, the second one's a little different because they want you to find the coordinates first. So let's find those coordinates. So this one here, it's a little faint, but Remember, it's x comma y, right? So x goes first. So x is negative 7. So we say negative 7 to the left and up 5. So that's my 7, negative 7, and 5. Finally, this one here on my x is 0. Because we're not going left or right. 0 comma, and then it went down negative 1. Right? So if I take my green here, my x's are in green, my y's are in purple. Now I know you can't write like this on Delta Math, but if you do it on your own piece of paper, just make sure you put the two points down and you make the x's one color and the y's another color. I'm using green and purple, but the colors don't really matter, right? So let's do our x first, x minus x. So we say x minus x squared. So that's my two greens, negative seven minus zero. And I get negative seven squared. So negative seven negative times negative is positive. Seven times seven is 49. So I have my x, now I'm going to find my y, y minus y squared. Well, my two y's are 5 and negative 1. 5 minus negative 1. Negative times negative is positive. Negative, negative crash into each other, it becomes plus. 5 plus 1 is 6. Can't forget the squared, forgot them actually here. Right, got to remind myself. 6 times 6 is 36. Then I take those two and I add them up. I add them to each other. 49 plus 36 is equal to 85. Then my last step 
distance is approximately the square root of 85. And it says in simplest radical form, right? So that means that I leave it as a radical and 85 cannot be reduced. So that is my answer. So as you can see here, these are two kinds of examples of finding the distance between two points in delta math.